NRC value. Now, this is a very common term used among uh, many people in the uh, acoustics. NRC, which is a noise reduction coefficient. Noise reduction coefficient. So, noise reduction coefficient, what it means? People ask, okay, this material, what is the NRC value? Maybe 0.8 or 0.9. So, what it means? Okay. Now, here I'm going to explain what it means, right? Now, NRC value is taken at these four frequencies, right? At these four frequencies, the absorption coefficient is measured for this material, for whichever type of material the specification is made, and it's averaged out. That means alpha uh, 250 plus alpha 500 plus alpha 1 kilohertz plus alpha 2 kilohertz divided by 4 this gives the nrc value new noise reduction coefficient which is measured at only four frequencies 250 500 1 kilohertz and 2 kilohertz so this means you see the range of frequency these are mostly the speech frequency Now, for example, if a particular room is being used for a music band, so music because it has a wide frequency starting from 20 hertz to 20 kilohertz. So what about the frequency is less than 250 hertz and about 2 kilohertz. So this value of NRC of any particular material is not going to be really helpful when we are going to go ahead with the detailed acoustics as far as uh, room acoustics is concerned. Uh, you see any material that is available in the market they call it as acoustic material which is actually a uh, misleading thing. Uh, a particular X material how it is going to help be helpful inside a room uh, uh, in order to get a, a specific reverberation time is not dealt with. This, this material uh, I can put it in a lab and get an NRC value for this. So by Doing that, I, I can call this as an acoustic material and this is what happens in the market. Uh, some manufacturers uh, come out with different types of materials saying this is also an acoustic material. So people are really misled by this type of uh, poor material which they tag on to a specific NRC values which is not really going to be helpful. So there are much more things that are involved in acoustics. Uh, many more parameters that are uh, required in order to have a complete understanding of uh, the acoustics.